Hello. I'll just wait a few minutes so that everyone can get on. Hi, Free. I'm live in the group, right? I'm not live on regular Facebook, right? My phone is being really weird. I'm good. Okay, I'm in the group. Just making sure. I'll just give it like, what do you think, another minute and then just go from there. Hi, Stephanie. I miss you too. Come see me. <laughs> Mine was just doing this crazy update. Okay, I'll wait. I'll just wait another minute. I was just at Ryder's, Ryder's um, little thing, and he just told me that his favorite thing about me and his dad is that I make him bacon. <laughs> All right, so like, I, I'll just give it to to two minutes. Who doesn't love bacon? I am so sleepy today. Huh. Let's see here. Okay, we're almost to two minutes. And then I will just start and then everyone can just join in and rewatch. Okay, so we're at two minutes. Hello everyone, my name is Megan James for those of you who do not know me. I am from Oxford, Michigan, and I have two little boys, Ryder and Deegan, and I joined Unique two years ago. I was on state assistance, and it was horrible. My husband finally landed a, like a good job um, on the oil rigs, but he was gone 28 days on, 14 days off, and the kids barely knew him. It was expensive with flights back and forth. Um, someone asked me to buy this mascara and I was like, oh, it's $29. I don't have $29. No, thank you. And then she's like, well, wait, 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 just, just, it's 29 bucks. Just try it. And I'm like, no. So then I looked at the kit and I was like, okay, well for a hundred, I can get everything. So it was easier for me to just to justify spending a hundred on a ton instead of just 29 plus tax and shipping on one mascara. So I bought the kit. I had zero intentions of selling this makeup. None. And then I started seeing like Jennifer Thomas, who's my sponsor. She was going up. Whitney was going up in the company so fast. And I was like, what? What do these girls have that I don't have? Because I was like, really negative and there was like a black cloud over my head all the time and I was miserable and I read the book Sarah Robbins how to rock your network marketing business and from seeing them go up in the company that's when it just clicked for me and I was like you know what I can do this I can do this I know I was a kidnapper but I can make money like they can make money and I'm gonna figure it out so I stopped feeling sorry for myself and feeling bad for myself because comparing yourself to somebody else it's not gonna help your business it's just gonna make you feel bad don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20 I mean they have they were doing it longer than me so I read the book I got excited and then I gave myself a goal I wanted to go to the top of the company because I've never done something like that before so I figured why not why can't I do this I let's let's do it so I read Sarah Robbins and just things clicked. So if you haven't read that book, please, please read it. It is phenomenal. Um, I did a whole thing where I wanted, I needed to know my why. She talks about your why and how your why should make you cry and all this stuff. So I'm like, what is my why? I'm like, well, I want my husband home, obviously. I want a better life for my family. And so they said, tell people so that they can support you because I was a professional quitter. 
So why would people want to follow me if I've quit everything I've ever done? Right? They're like, oh, she's done this, she's done that, she's quit everything. Why would they want to join my team or follow me or be a... They wouldn't. So I had to build a trust. I had to build it. So I had to keep talking about how excited I was, keep this, and I had to share my why. And why was my why so strong? It was because I wanted to bring my husband home. So I had Operation Bring Tyler Home. That was my hashtag for everything. So I would say, you know what, my husband works in the oil rigs, I'm bringing him home, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And I would ask for parties and sign people up and I would show how much I love the company and, and my passion for it. And I did photography prior too, so I was bringing people over for befores and afters and I just dove into the company. I dove into personal development. And I know it sounds crazy, but People will support you when they know how passionate and how excited you are about it and why you're doing something. They're going to help you out. But you have to let them know. And this company, really in any drug sales company, it is 80% psychology and only 20% mechanics. So your belief is everything. Whether I know you've heard this many, many times. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are absolutely right. How many times have you guys are in a rush? You're in a you're in a huge rush and you're you're heading out the door and you have your sunglasses on your head or your phone in your hand and you're running around and you're like, Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Oh my gosh. Where where's my car keys? Where's my sunglasses? And someone's like like, I can't find them. I can't. I can't find it. And someone, you, my little boy was like, Mom, it's in your hand. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. But see, you're touching it. It's in your hand. You, you're, I mean, you are touching it. You're seeing it. You're, it's heavy. You're holding your phone. But you, you told yourself that you can't. So therefore, you won't. So you got to. Tell yourself every day that you can do this. And the most powerful people in the world do daily affirmations. All of them. They do I am statements. I am powerful. I am good. I am worthy. All of you can do this. And always remember this. Everyone can, but only some will. Because when things get tough, people quit but your why needs to be bigger than that there was I mean I almost I almost quit three times but my why was so big that I knew I was stronger so I just kept doing it and we have um, if you guys I don't know if you listen to Big Al or not but he is amazing if you guys can get a hold of any of Big Al's books he's so good he touches on um, color personalities. And so when you're recruiting or when you're working with anybody on your downline, you really want to tap into their color personality to know what makes them tick. And even with like incentive gifts and with recruiting, like you have four different color personalities and I'm gonna go like above and beyond with the color personalities, okay? So you have your, let's start with a yellow person. Yellow people are like your teachers and they're really sweet and they want to help. They're really good, you know, they're just really nice. And that's the type of people who, when you're recruiting, you can tell them, you know, like, you know, you get, you get an opportunity here to change lives. We have the unique foundation. We have, you know, you, you're going to help so and so and so get to this point and that that works for them. They love that. Wow, I can help people. This is wonderful. I love helping people. Then you have like your blue personality. Blues, remember this is like over the top. Blue are like your party people and they're always like there to have a good time. They are like, so if you wanted to recruit them, you would talk about, well, every year that we have a an incentive. You can earn a cruise. You can, you hit green two times, you're going to Utah. 
we have a convention, it's always in a different location every year. You get to travel, meet people. We launched in other countries, so you get, you know, you could go to another country if you wanted to. So that really, travel really gets them excited. Um, green personality are like your engineer, where they want to know like the ins, the ins and outs of the comp plan. They want to know everything. They're very strategic. Um, so like if they doorknob fell off, they wouldn't just want to replace it. They want to know why did it fall off in the per in the first place so that nothing bad will ever happen again, that they will get that on again and it will never fall off. So those are your, um, your greens. So they're going to ask you lots and lots of questions and that's okay. That's what they need. Um, let's see here. And then you have your reds. Your reds are really, really loud, really goal oriented. You can talk to them about money. They're, they can, they're going to say, what do I need to do to get here? They're very goals. Like, you tell me this, this, and this, and I'm going to get there. And, um, like, competitive. and So that is your red personality. So knowing those personalities also helps on your team with how you talk to your teammates. Because what I would tell, so my sister-in-law, for example, is very, very yellow. And if I told her about an incentive and was like, hey, Megan, you know, first person to get to this many PRSs wins this. She'd fold like a cheap picnic table. She'd be out of that race before it even started because it's not her. That works with your red personalities. But for her, she would give up and she wouldn't even try. So for someone like that, you would say, you could do like, hey, I'm going to do an incentive whether you, big or small, whether you, you know, sell something big or small, comment here and I'm going to do a drawing at the end of the day to do uh, a lip gloss or something for somebody. Then everybody's trying because some people feel like they're already beat before they've even won. So my biggest tip for all of you is personal development. Get your mind right. Get your mind in the game and that you can do it. Your belief system is so big and if you don't believe in yourself, Surround yourself with people who believe in you until you can believe it for yourself. Because we're all capable. All of us. Um, and when you're talking to people, there's, there's trigger words and things that you can use. Like, let's say you're selling a mascara and you're talking to somebody and you're a little nervous. and There's a survival skill. It is most people. So that's a word that you want to use a lot. So you can say, hey... I have this awesome mascara. Most people love it. The rest haven't tried it yet. Well, you want to be with most people, don't you? But what, what, I'm I'm the only one that hasn't tried this yet? Are you serious? So you want to be with most people. So those are some of my, I don't want to like overload all of you. Um, but do, do any of you have any questions for me? Or anything else that you need me to touch on for tonight? I know that there's like a minute lag or something with the, the comments. So I'll just wait just a second. Stephanie or Brie, was there anything else that you guys wanted me to cover? Thank you, Brie. And if anybody has any questions, really, I'm here. I, I will answer anything for you. Um, I went black in 19 months. That's how long that it took me. And it's been incredible, you guys. And sometimes I think back of like when I was going to quit and I couldn't, I couldn't imagine my life if I would have, I mean, I would have still been miserable. He's <laughs> good at that stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Go get him fat, honey. I'll be right in there, okay? I'm hungry. I know you're hungry. I'll be right in there. Okay, go get him fat. Let's see here. Tips to stay motivated. What was it like hitting green? Green was, sorry, now the kids are like coming out. <laughs> green was phenomenal. I would have to say that. I love you. Oh, I, I love you too. Go get in bed. Um, that green was honestly the turning point of my business because I knew that being green was this like leadership position. So I'm like, I want that. And when I hit green, like we went out to dinner and celebrate, you know, it was really great. But then you hit green twice and they send you to Utah. And I'm pr that was pretty much like, that was it for me. That was when Unique, I was like a diehard. 
because I got to meet Derek and Melanie, first of all. Honey, sorry, he's, one second, he's hanging on the fridge. Ryder, please, honey, go get in bed, and then, and then I'll come and get you right when I'm done. So, you get to go to Utah. They, the only thing you have to pay for is your flight. You get there. They put us in this, like, beautiful log cabin with some other girls. I got to go to Derek and Melanie's. I was, like, holding Derek's little babies. And then the dinner table was pretty full, so I went in the backyard and sat and was eating dinner by myself. So Derek and his wife, Shalane, came outside and had dinner with me. And they, like, cared about my story, and they wanted to know, and they couldn't believe that I was, you know, working to get my husband home and all this stuff. And they were just, like, so nice. I actually, my purse dumped out inside of Derek's house, and my driver's license fell in the seat, and Shalane found it and brought it back to the bus and, and gave it to me. They're just so, like, down-to-earth and good people. And I remember at one point in my business, and I was feeling a little bit, like, overwhelmed or maybe, like, I was burning the candle at both ends kind of thing because, you know, balance is really hard for people when you're, you know, I, my kids were not at school at the time, and, like, it was, I, sometimes I felt a little burnt out and I needed to, you know, recharge my batteries or figure out how to, you know, stay motivated. So when I was talking to Melanie about that in Utah, she said, Megan, unique is, she said that there's rubber balls and glass balls. And she said, you just have to figure out what is the most important at that day. You know, like your family's glass, like don't drop that. But she's like, unique is rubber ball and it will bounce back. And when she said that to me, I was like, seriously? Like the owner of unique is telling me that this business will bounce back to me and she's not telling me work 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 like some like crazy that's what I thought was gonna happen like you guys need to sell this much and you need to do this no she was like if your family comes first and if you need to go and be with your family for a few days and clear your head you come back to this and I was just like oh my gosh I love this business and it made me even want to work that much harder because it just was like they care like they literally care about us so that was like it for me I came home so pumped up it was the best feeling ever and you okay so I know that the numbers sound really big sometimes you know it's like overwhelming like oh my gosh ten thousand dollars oh <gasps> how am I gonna do ten thousand dollars a month that's how I felt I was like when I hit pink, I'm pretty sure I did a cartwheel. 2000 in a month sounded crazy to me. Crazy. But when I did it, I felt so good that I'm like, I'm ready for another promotion. Let's do this. Like, every time you hit another level, it just feels good. It feels good to have goals again. To have something to look forward to, you know? And something to build and something that you built yourself that you're proud of. Because it's your business and you get to operate your business how you choose to. And that's the best part. I have about 4,000 people on my team. And it all started with me. Just me. And I have kept, I get all emotional, but I have kept it how I wanted to. And I've stayed humble through this entire thing. And I have never not one time lost sight of why I started this and who I am as a person. This is so nice and so positive and I never have any problems or things like that because I just, I don't, it's not what I want. I don't want the caddy, I don't want any of that. That's not what this is about. When they say it's a sisterhood, they mean it. They're, every, I, I mean, the friendships that I've made, like Brie and Stephanie, are my true, true friends. Like, I, I love them. And I don't say that. I wasn't like that. I'm not like this lovey-dovey person. But they came into my life for a reason. And you get, you get to meet so many people that you would, like, never, ever have. I randomly on Facebook signed up. I think her name was Amy. I signed up Amy 
and then Amy signed up Michelle, who I went to high school with, and then Michelle signed up Bree, and then Bree signed up Stephanie. So I would have never, ever known them. I wouldn't have known them. And this is through networking. This is through Facebook. I mean, I built this whole business from my phone in my living room while I was rocking a baby with a bottle. Like, it's so doable. I'm dyslexic, okay? I have a really hard time reading. I have a really hard time writing. But I can listen and I can watch. I am not... So, I have things that is wrong with me, okay? I got anxiety. I got all sorts of stuff. But I am not going to let any, any of that affect me being successful. No way. No way. So, you got some things going on. It's life. And you figure out a way around it. And you figure out a way to make it work for you. So, for me, with my poor reading comprehension and my hardcore dyslexia, I do the audio, the, the audio stuff. I have the Audible app on my phone. I listen to it, love it while I'm cleaning. You know, a lot of us have kids, and even if you don't have kids, you're busy. It's life. I turn my car into a rolling university. Anywhere I'm going, I have uh, my phone plugged in with, uh, what do I, I mean, a big Al's playing in the background, and, you know, it's, I'm at the bus stop listening to it. I'm doing dishes. I'm, I'm a mom. I'm out in the backyard cleaning up dog poop. Like, I am a normal person. And I, every chance that I get, I will have personal development on in the background, you know? I just, I love, I just wish that, oh, I want to meet all of you. Like, I just, I want to, it's so much better when we're in the room together, you know? It's hard to talk to myself, but I'm doing the best I can. Sorry, my nose is running, I'm all teary-eyed. <sighs> but, I'm telling you, stick with it. And all of you can go to the, I mean, whatever. I was just at the most powerful woman in network marketing event. Oh, you, oh my gosh. It was amazing. It was amazing. These women, these women, and some of the stories is like, how did you ever get out of that? But they did. And they're even better for it because they're good people. And then they get to tell people their story. And don't be ashamed of your story ever. Wherever you came from, don't be ashamed of it. That's, you know, you're, you find strength in the struggle, man. Don't be ashamed of your story because everything that happened to you in your past made you who you are today. And you can choose. You can choose what you want to do with tomorrow. If you had a bad past, it happened. It's gone. It happened. But tomorrow is a new day, okay? And right now, you have right now. Every day when you wake up, you have the same amount of time as anybody else has. What are you going to do in that 24 hours to get you to where you want to be? That's the question. You don't have to break your back and be crazy and do anything extremely wild. What are you going to do today to make tomorrow better that's all you have to do so my daily tasks are good you know so what are you gonna do you're gonna add five new people to your Facebook are you gonna have five business cards in your hand and maybe you went to the grocery store you bumped into somebody and you handed somebody your business card or are you gonna make a video that day or maybe do a party or have an in-home or a one-on-one -on -one? what are little it's little things it's consistency. It's little daily tasks, little little daily things. It's a habit that you do every day that one day, all those little small things that you've been doing every, every day gets you to that big picture. Don't look at black status and be freaking out. Don't do it. Don't do it because then you're going to beat yourself up. What is your next goal? What is it? Is your goal to be yellow? Is your goal to be pink? Is it to be blue? What is it? Whatever that is, focus on that. Don't worry about all of this. Don't worry about it yet. 
because you're going to rob yourself of the joy of hitting something. Maybe you haven't sold something in, in a day or two and you're bumming. Sell something and celebrate about it, okay? That's when people get in a funk and they get sad and they get down on themselves like, man, be, oh, I suck, blah, blah, blah. No. Little things every day. Celebrate more often, okay? This is a journey, you guys. We're, this is a road, okay? We're going to, to and success looks like this, okay? It's, it's, success is, looks crazy and it's up and down and all over the place. Don't worry about it. Okay? Focus on the daily. And if you did a good job that day, if you met somebody that day, whatever you did that day, give yourself a, some credit. Okay? <laughs> Just don't compare yourself to so and so who recruited 40 people this month and you're all over here sad. Don't worry about it. Okay? Good job for her. She did great. But that doesn't mean that you are any less. Okay? Just give it your all. And if you're confused or you're not getting something, try something else. What works for me might not work for you. This whole business is about figuring it out. So, find a mentor. Your mentor does not have to be me. You might not even click with me. You might hear me up here talking saying, be quiet. And that's fine. Different people click with different people. You need to find somebody that resonates with you. Somebody that works with you. It does not, I repeat, it does not have to be some black status presenter. Okay? It doesn't. It can be somebody outside of Unique. It can be Big Al, Eric Worre, Tony Robinson. Sarah Robinson. There's so many people. And follow them and listen to them and read their books. There's, I mean, the list goes on of how many mentors are out there. And every, it's all similar. Everybody that you're going to read and all that, it, it's so, it's so similar. But when you start reading and you start opening your mind to like these other possibilities and that you truly start believing that you can do this, that's when all of it just starts happening. It just starts to explode. I'm not even kidding. Because I had a team of like 40 or something. And I was just pretty stagnant. It was, I wasn't, I was just like, it wasn't going up and it wasn't really going down. And I was, let's see, I even had it works lady that I had your coffee with and worked together. Yes! Sorry, it takes me a minute to read these little comments but oh my poor mind I had writers concert today it was crazy um, but different mentors different people everybody has a different learning style and find out how you learn know how you learn do you need to write it down do you need to write I mean there is some power in a pen do you need to write this down and maybe do a I don't know teach it for me I gotta listen to it I got my audio and then I have to go and tell it to somebody because I feel like when I teach somebody something, I retain it 10 times better. And when you're reading these books and when you're learning these things and when you're learning this stuff about yourself, I'm telling you, whatever you learned that was really super awesome, either share it with somebody on your team or if it was not really, if it was like something else, like how to do something, like uh, how to party better or something like that, those kind of tips, do them within the next 48 hours. I mean, the sooner that, because I hear so many people like, I'm doing lots of personal development and I'm just not there yet and just reading my personal development books. That is great because I am the personal development lady. I'm very proud that you're reading the personal development books, but you got to implement what you're reading. You got to do it. That's the, that's the thing. I mean, you can learn and learn and learn and learn, but learn as you, you know, learn as you go. Like, implement what you're learning. And, I mean, you guys, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm telling you that right now. You can. And in this business, everybody starts with one person. 
I joined it as one person, just me. And no, I wasn't luck. I wasn't. It wasn't luck, and it wasn't timing. I really worked hard, and I talked to everybody. And did I hear no? Did it make me feel bad? But I wasn't gonna let it stop me. And I've cried from hearing someone tell me no because I was embarrassed. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, I. I got a chance to be in a vehicle with this girl named Tina. Um, Donald Trump was her mentor and Tony Robbins. And she's like a multi, multi-millionaire. And um, she told me that when somebody tells you, when you have the opportunity, she said that you're selfish. She told me I was selfish. And she's like, you're selfish for not sharing the opportunity as much. And I was like, what? She goes, you need to talk about it more. You need to share this opportunity more. And she's like, you're selfish for not doing it. She's like, what made me selfish was, is I was worried about their reaction. I was worried that if I was going to, you know, sign them up or ask them to join my team or whatever, what if they told me no? And what if they rejected me? And what if I was embarrassed? Okay, well, if that happens, it happens. But what if, the other what if, what if they've been waiting their whole life for you to walk up to them and say, hey, you're really cute, and I think this is for you. Like, and you tell them your story, and it resonates with them, and they join your team, and they're a rock star, and their whole life has changed, and your whole life has changed. I mean, that's another scenario that is very, very possible. It happened to me. So, just keep telling everybody. Uh, what kind of network did you start with? I started with, Okay, so I was 20 when I had my first baby, 22 when I had my second baby. All of my friends were like in the bar scene and they all stopped being my friends. <laughs> I didn't have a very large network at this point. Uh, and then I tried a few different direct sales companies and failed miserably because I didn't know about personal development. And then I got a Facebook. I didn't even know how to work it. I got Facebook just so I could take pictures of my kids to show my family in Arizona. And then I had some friends from high school in there. So I think my network was like maybe 150, 200 people, something like that. I didn't even have a selfie on there. I didn't even know. I didn't even do that. So I just started. I, I, didn't, I didn't have a network, really. I started with the business page and talking to people. And I was like getting into gift basket things with people. I would like somebody was doing a giveaway or something and because we can't do giveaways on our page I was like what can I do so I was like getting in with other people where I was like hey don't mention me but here's my mascara and my business card throw it in your basket so I did I did everything that I could and I talked to my connections week I'm sorry uh oh no Maybe it's better over here. Uh, uh oh, Stephanie, my connection is weak and it won't come back. Can you hear me? Ugh. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, I'm I'm back. You can say hi really quick. Come here. I know you're just dying to say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Okay, go get in bed. No, I'm hungry. Okay, but go get in bed and I'll be right there. I am so sorry. Okay. <laughs> you can say hi to Stephanie. She just said hi to you. You can say it now. I love cheeseburgers. All right, you love cheeseburgers. So. And I found some floor. Oh, you found some of my makeup on the floor. So that is what I have. I could, you guys, I could seriously, I know it's, I've been babbling now for 35 minutes. I could talk forever about Unique, like forever, because I love it that much. I just want all of you to get to green, and when you get to green, do it again. And get yourself to Utah. Get yourself there. They roll this carpet out for you. Yeah, they're walking the purple carpet and the corporate yelling at, you know, they're all excited and 
you get to walk through corporate and then they give you like all the swag you have like goodie bags and they're like filling your every station you go to they're putting some cool thing in your goodie bag and you get some jammies and some slippers and it is so fun and now it's different because corporate moved so when I was there I was in when they had like their little the little teeny one but now they have the big one and now they have like a boxing center and you get like boxing gloves and stuff and I you get all sorts of stuff and and then you get to go to their house and oh it's so fun it is so fun and it's just like these experiences that I never thought that I could have that I do now and I just took my whole family to Arizona that I paid for not my husband me me I, and I it blew my mind and it was so rewarding and I want you all to feel that joy that I felt because I I didn't feel worthy and I didn't feel good and I felt bad about myself all the time that I was like this waste like that I was like wasted potential and then I finally found something I was good at and I just ran with it and I really wasn't even that good at it in the beginning you guys can go through my Facebook and take a look at all of my terrible selfies that I took in the very beginning of this they were really really bad so you don't have to be the best you just have to start you know and you're gonna do things sometimes that are silly or whatever or not right or someone might say something and whatever just laugh it off we're learning you know I'm happy I made all the mistakes and things that I did it made me who I am and and now I get to tell all of you about it so it's it's so fun and I'm so happy that all of you decided to partner with unique and that all of you um, took time out of your lives tonight to listen to me talk and I greatly appreciate it and thank you so much Stephanie for having me speak in your Hi, group Stephanie. and I just I can't wait to meet all of you so you rock to Brie so um, everybody have such a wonderful night and I hope that you guys found this helpful you're welcome. Good night, everybody.